Welcome, 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 welcome to The Tonight Show, everybody. You're here, you made it. As everyone's talking about this, uh, today Elon Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion. Yep, he now owns SpaceX and Twitter. It's like Musk is thinking, I've seen the heavens, now on to hell. <laughs> Twitter's an odd thing to buy, you know? It's, it's like buying YouTube and saying, forget the videos, I'm just here for the mean comments. <laughs> That's right, the richest man in the world bought Twitter. Right now, Bernie Sanders is so mad, he just turned into the Hulk. <laughs> uh, yeah, Musk has said that he's pro-free speech, so a lot of people think that he'll let former President Trump back on the platform. Yeah, not exactly what we meant when we asked for a return to pre-pandemic vibes, but, uh... <laughs> Uh, when it heard the caps lock key on Trump's phone was like, I'm back, baby! <laughs> but listen to this. Today, Trump told Fox News that he will not return to Twitter and will instead join his own platform, Truth Social. <laughs> Wait, so not even Trump is on Truth Social yet? That is, it's his app. He's not on his own app? If you're keeping track, Twitter and Truth Social are like the Four Seasons and Four Seasons Total Landscaping. That's right, Trump's not giving up on Truth Social, but at a rally this weekend, he somehow managed to mess up the name of his own platform. Take a look at this. Because of this digital tyranny, we had to give the American people their voice back by building something called Truth, Truth Central. Truth Social. <laughs> Tough socials. Trout Chapel. <laughs> Thor Ragnarok. Sadly, even Trout Central has more users than Truth Social. It's interesting. <laughs> Let's switch gears. Over the past couple of weeks, there's been a rise in COVID cases, and the White House is calling for caution, but not overreacting. <laughs> even the CDC was like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> you know it's really bad when Elon Musk tries to buy Clorox wipes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Some more news from the White House today. The Tampa Bay Lightning visited President Biden to celebrate their last two Stanley Cup championships. Yeah, sure. Good. Biden said he's not a big Lightning fan, but his childhood friend Ben Franklin is. And, uh... Well, hey, get this. Chippendales has hired a lobbyist to help them get federal COVID aid. Yeah, they'll receive their money, but they're just going to get it like this. <laughs> Some boring business news. I read that the owners of JCPenney have offered to buy Kohl's for $8.6 billion. Meanwhile, Best Buy is calling up Radio Shack like, you up? <laughs> and finally, a hiker in Washington had to call the fire department to rescue her after she dropped her phone in an outhouse toilet and got stuck headfirst trying to get it out. <laughs> it's actually hard for her to get in touch with the fire department because she had such crappy service. And, uh, <laughs> firefighters were like, there's no fire, but you better bring the hose. <laughs> Let's get to some, uh, some news here. Well, guys, everybody is still talking about Elon Musk buying Twitter for $44 billion. Yep, first Tesla and now Twitter. It's amazing how much money you can save when you don't have to pay for gas, isn't it? <laughs> 44 billion. That's too 44 billion, that's a lot. That's almost three printer cartridges from Staples. You know, if you think about it. <laughs> Seriously, you know you're rich when you buy something for $44 billion and you're still rich. <laughs> yep, Musk says he's going to bring back free speech to Twitter. It's a big deal, because if it's true, it means we'll finally be able to talk about Bruno. And, uh... <laughs> finally. It'll... Yeah, Musk has a lot of ideas for the app. He plans to defend free speech, get rid of spam bots, and make Jeff Bezos' head the new Twitter egg. <laughs> of course, some people are worried that Musk will have a negative impact on Twitter. Uh, yes, compared to the absolute paradise it's been all along. <laughs> well, some news from Washington today. It was announced that Vice President Kamala Harris has tested positive for COVID-19. 
Yeah. President Biden told her to take her time recovering. He was like, when I was VP, I was gone for two years and nobody even noticed. <laughs> I don't know if she can do that. <laughs> Thankfully, Harris is feeling good and will remain isolated just like she has since taking office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, the White House said that Harris has been nowhere near Biden for over a week, which pretty much tells you all you need to know about that relationship. <laughs> like... Meanwhile, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi just returned to work after testing positive for COVID. And she said that she spent her quarantine watching all of Bridgerton. <laughs> which explains why she was still feverish three days after recovering. <laughs> wow. Apparently, Pelosi got really into it. She was like, Anthony can storm my capital anytime. And you go, whoa, <laughs> hey. Listen to this. A judge in New York is holding former President Trump in contempt of court for failing to turn over documents, and he's being fined $10,000 a day until he does. <laughs> Trump's actually trying to locate the documents right now. He's going through his filing system of buried, shredded, or flushed. <laughs> I think I buried that one. I tried flushing that. Didn't work, so I buried it. Hey, this is fun. Today, Auntie Anne's uh, gave away free pretzels for National Pretzel Day. Yeah. And if you celebrate it, I'm sorry you were stuck at the airport. <laughs> hey, get this. A uh, family in Massachusetts won $5 million from a lawsuit against a country club after their property was hit with over 600 golf balls. <laughs> family was like, you know, when we moved directly next to a golf course, we had no idea this could happen. <laughs> Every day for four years, their ring doorbell was like motion detected, motion detected, mo 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 motion detected. Honestly, this is what happens when you live in a tiny windmill. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, let's get to some news, uh, guys. This is big. Apparently, President Biden is seriously considering canceling student loan debt. When asked how the country can afford it, Biden said, I'm going to slide into Elon Musk's DMs. <laughs> yeah, Biden wasn't even thinking about forgiving student loan debt until he looked at his poll numbers with young voters. And <laughs> your debt will be forgiven. Uh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, Biden's basically telling every college student, I'll take care of your four years if you take care of mine. If you know <laughs> It's a risky move for Biden. He's about to win over everyone with student loans and lose everyone who just paid them off. Like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Meanwhile, today at the White House, Biden hosted the 2022 Teachers of the Year. Yeah. Biden honored the Teachers of the Year while over in the next room, they honored the Substitute of the Year by putting on a movie. <laughs> At the ceremony, Biden awarded the National Teacher of the Year a glass apple. The teacher was like, that's cool, but uh, how about a raise? <clears throat> <laughs> it was a great event uh, for the teachers, but it was super awkward after when Biden ran into them at the grocery store. <sighs> I can't see you outside of... You have a husband? <laughs> Some business news. I read that if Elon Musk backs out of the Twitter deal, he'll have to pay a $1 billion termination fee. Yeah, a billion dollar termination fee. It's pretty much the same deal as leaving Planet Fitness. Does that have the same? <laughs> Some entertainment news uh, today at a CinemaCon in Las Vegas, 13 years after the original Avatar hit theaters, viewers were treated to a first look at James Cameron's sequel, Avatar The Way of Water. Yeah, 13 years. That's a long time. Now the characters are so old, uh, they have The Way of Water three times a night. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the characters are so old that they're now blue because of poor circulation. That's, a, that's what I'm here. Speaking of big movies, it was just announced that Robert Pattinson is going to return for a sequel of The Batman. Yes. 
That's right, an eccentric billionaire who tries to solve the world's problems by himself. Spoiler alert, he just buys Twitter. Uh, <laughs> Hey, this is pretty cool. Scientists have created genetically modified lettuce that could keep astronauts' bones from crumbling on their trip to Mars. Yeah. When asked their opinion on it, here's what several astronauts had to say. This first astronaut said, that's pretty cool about the lettuce. Hey, what was that thing about bones crumbling? <laughs> this next astronaut said, yeah, thanks for the culinary innovation, but uh, I, too, am stuck on the bone crumbling part. The next astronaut said, are we talking like gradual crumbling or more like an all at once crumbling? Because that will seriously affect my decision whether or not to go to Mars. I'm cool about the lettuce, by the way. <laughs> and finally, this last astronaut said, Bones? Oh my God, I thought those were bacon bits. Where's Lance? This is kind of a weird story. Get the, in Alabama, after raw chicken parts were spilled all over the road, police told people to drive carefully and hold their nose. Take a look at this. Yo. People are like, what do you think we're going to do? Pull over and breathe deeply? I mean, what do you... <laughs> Sadly, now we know what happened when the chicken crossed the road. That's uh... <laughs> Uh, guys, I saw that a train in Argentina had to be delayed after a man fell asleep across two seats and got his head stuck under the metal armrest. Take a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want, but that's first class on Spirit Airlines. Uh, you know. <laughs> that's the way to go. You're heading there. Hey, I heard about a 13-year-old boy who's about to graduate from the University of Minnesota with a bachelor's degree in physics. Yeah, you can tell he's super smart because he's graduating just in time to have his student loans forgiven. Yeah. <laughs> smart, smart kid. <laughs> the NFL draft kicked off tonight in Las Vegas. That's right. Elon Musk is buying Twitter for $44 billion. Uh, we got our first look at the sequel to Avatar. And uh, Chipotle says that they want to start offering dessert. There's a lot to go over. <laughs> So let's just jump in and cover it all at once. It's time for a new smash. Here we go. First up, the NFL draft got underway tonight in Las Vegas. The best college football players are heading to the pros, where they're going to make a lot of money, almost enough money to buy Twitter. <laughs> Elon Musk is buying the company for $44 billion. The whole thing came together really fast. Unlike Avatar 2, it's been... <laughs> 13 years in the making, and they're calling it the way of water, which is also what you hear from the bathroom after eating Chipotle dessert. <laughs> it... Word of warning, don't stand behind anyone who eats it, or you might feel a draft. Uh... <laughs> hey, Tom Brady wasn't picked until the sixth round. He waited longer to get drafted than we've waited for Avatar 2. <laughs> Those Avatar characters have some unusual names, like uh, Nitiri, Moat, and Elon Musk. <laughs> He's taking a big risk with Twitter, and he might regret it. Kind of like eating Chipotle dessert. <laughs> if it's anything like the guac, it'll cost $44 billion. So in conclusion... <laughs> so in conclusion, welcome to the NFL. Welcome to a living hell. <laughs> Finally here, what a shocker. Think ahead, call a doctor. This has been a news smash. Uh, hey, get this. Uh, new satellite images were just released that show Russia is using trained dolphins to protect a key naval base in the Black Sea. You can tell things are a little off when the leader of your country is like, all right, then let's not send in flipper. All right. Yeah. I'm wondering, is it possible Russia thinks our Navy SEALs are actual SEALs? <laughs> yeah, defense dolphins are a good tactic if your enemy hates adorable wet kisses. <laughs> Some more strange news. Uh, Canada is trying to change its laws so that it can prosecute Canadians if they commit crimes on the moon. Even the Space Force is like, I, I know we're not the ones to talk, but uh, do we need this? <laughs> hey, 
Hey, listen to this. Yesterday, Pope Francis told married people to be kind to their mother-in-laws because there are so many cliches that make fun of them. Everyone heard and was like, yeah, easier for him to say. <laughs> Even the Vatican choir was like, you ain't preaching to us on this one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Pope's had it with mother-in-law jokes. Then he was like, also, ease up on Spirit Airlines. It sucks, we get it. All right, come on. <laughs> As I said earlier, the title of the long-awaited Avatar sequel was released yesterday. It is called Avatar The Way of Water. Well, that wasn't the only name they considered. Uh, here's some other ones that they almost went with. First, there's Avatar 2. Ever wonder what it looked like if the Smurfs went to Burning Man? <laughs> Next, there's Avatar 2. This one's just two hours of a blue guy connecting his ponytail to a bird. <laughs> And finally, Avatar 2, the first movie is almost old enough to buy cigarettes now. That's, they, they, they were thinking, I like the one they went with. Hey guys, I read that some elite Yelp reviewers who are uh, trusted on the site have been getting paid to write good reviews for restaurants. Wow, if I can't trust Bob S, who went to a Denny's in <laughs> Illinois once, who can I trust? That's right, Yelp knew something was wrong when a user described Arby's meatloaf as tantalizing. <laughs> tantalizing. Uh, well, as I mentioned, Chipotle recently said that it's continuing to work hard to add dessert to its menu. Yeah, that's what Chipotle needs. More decisions for the person in line ahead of you. Yeah. <laughs> Do I want to try sprinkles? I don't know. Can I try a sample of the Rocky Road? It just never... What does vanilla taste like? You don't know what vanilla tastes No. Well, then you shouldn't get ice cream. Maybe go home and think about it. Uh, this is fun. Apparently, they're building, uh, right here in our building, they're building a Skylift observation platform at the top of the rock here at Rockefeller Center. Take a look at this thing. Yeah. <laughs> the city like you've never seen it before from exactly 20 feet higher up. Amazing. <laughs> can, we, can we see it again? Looks like the onion volcano at Benihana. Uh... <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, uh, well, guys, get this. I heard about a woman in the UK who went to some pretty extreme lengths to live with her cat. Check this out. A London woman was tired of her landlord telling her that she couldn't have pets in the building. So you know what she did? She married her cat. She says the marriage between her and uh, five-year-old India is to let future landlords know the two are a package deal. <laughs> Meanwhile, the landlord was thinking, you win? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure the cat is on board. Can we see the cat again? Cat is thinking, what have I done with my nine lives? Oh my God! <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Sean Mendez is here, and he is my he is my co-host tonight. That's right. Sean Mendez is here, and uh, like you've never seen him before, with sleeves. Oh yes. Yeah. Do you guys know that uh, Sean was born in Canada? Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm trying to figure out, did he really want to be here? It was just too polite to say no. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get to some news. I read that Amazon's stock just crashed after the company reported a loss of nearly $4 billion. Yep. Wow. Amazon's stock is crashing. Netflix stock is crashing. Right now, everyone who invested in Beanie Babies is like, well, 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 who's the financial <laughs> genius now? But this should help business. Uh, once the bad news broke, Amazon executives spent the night getting drunk and ordering stuff off of Amazon. So there you go. <laughs> we are right back up. Right now, Jeff Bezos is so stressed, his hair grew in and then fell out again. It's just <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, it's a tough day for Bezos because his net worth shrunk by $13 billion. Oh. We'll, we'll be sending around a basket for collections uh, during the <laughs> Yeah, his, his net worth shrunk by $13 billion, and uh, due to cold weather, his rocket shrunk three inches. Well, it's just terrible. Worse. Some more business news. I saw that last year, Subway closed more than 1,000 locations in the U.S. 
1,000 stores is a lot. That's over 50,000 footlongs of retail space. <laughs> it's kind of annoying because the stores are gone, but the smell of nine grain honey oat bread still remains. <laughs> well, get this Snapple announced that it's going to rebrand its diet Snapple drinks as Snapple Zero Sugar. But don't worry, it'll still taste like the drink you've never tried. <laughs> Diets now, I'm gonna get the peach something. Right. <laughs> Some entertainment news. Uh, Tom Cruise has revealed that the title of Mission Impossible 7 will be Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Ooh. So far, the impossible mission is fitting that entire title on a marquee. <laughs> Yeah, that's a long title. Right now, our movie titles are starting to look like the poster for Coachella. <laughs> and the, uh, uh, oh, Mike, you know, this is... Wow, wow. Sean Mendez, you're, 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 you're young, you're talented, you're, you're good looking. It is, it is like, it's like looking into a mirror. Uh, I, uh, I feel differently. If yeah, I, uh, I, I, hey, you wanna try some monologue jokes? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Guys, well, I heard that this year, New York City is getting 60 new electric buses. Yeah, electric buses, or as they're also known, subways. Uh, how about this one? Try yeah, this hey, one. I saw that a new poll said that every average American sets four different alarms to wake up in the morning. Did you know that? Yeah. No, I didn't know. The poll also found that the average person's spouse says, if that goes off a fifth time, we're getting a divorce. Yep. <laughs> four alarms. Everyone's like, we don't know why we're so tired. And then they went back. Scrolling TikTok till 3 a.m. Yeah, of course. That's what we all do. Uh, listen to this. Uh, a professional soccer player in England is missing a game tomorrow because he got a cotton swab stuck in his ear. Johnson Johnson was like, can we have one good day of PR? Please. <laughs> Just one. Just I mean, one. He, he could remove the Q-tick, but he's not allowed. No hands. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, you're right, yeah. No one knows what to do uh, because it's the first time a soccer player has had an injury that's real. <laughs> oh, stop it. Hey, oh, hey. John Mendez is here. Don't do this. Don't do this to me in front of John Mendez. I think we had a deal. Uh, <laughs> Finally, a high school teacher in California was arrested after she was allegedly caught drunk in the classroom. Yeah. <laughs> drunk while teaching, or as parents call that, homeschooling. Hey.